So, you've had a little bit of time now to play around with the new combat assault rifle, so I'm here today to give you my thoughts on the weapon and hopefully give you a little bit of tips to use the weapon because it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun. We've been hearing a lot of mixed thoughts about it and that's what really wanted to make me use make this video is because there are so many mixed opinions on it. I play with so many people that are like, wow, this gun blows, it's the worst gun of all time. And I'm like, dude, this is my favorite gun in the entire loot pool right now and I don't even know what to say. Like, I... It's amazing. It's amazing. That's a short answer for you is I think it's absolutely fantastic. So guys, hear what I have to say here. Let me know what you think down below and thank you so much for watching. So I wasn't kidding by the way when I was saying this is my favorite gun in the entire loot pool. I have been taking a gray combat assault rifle over purple and gold scars. I'm not even kidding with you right now. I think this gun's absolutely fantastic. So why do people not like it? Obviously, it's because of the recoil. It's new to Fortnite. There's not a lot of guns with a ton of recoil. You can look back at the Sculpt Revolver, and perhaps that's why I really, really like the Combat Assault Rifle when I first picked it up, because I loved using the Sculpt Revolver, because if you remember, when you shoot the Sculpt Revolver, you shoot, and then the whole screen goes up. So it's not necessarily, because it's just a one-shot, you have time to reset, but the Combat Assault Rifle, it's, an, it's a machine gun. You just hold down the trigger, it keeps firing, but the problem is, if you just sit there and hip fire, you're going to be shooting the sky in no time. You have to take a little bit of time, perhaps in creative mode, you have to take a little bit of time to learn how to control this recoil because honestly if you pay attention to this this gun has absolutely no bloom like of course it's not zero bloom but think back to the tactical assault rifle gun had almost zero bloom but this gun has such a huge fire rate and does a lot more damage than the tactical assault rifle i think it's way more viable for people hiding in boxes i found it it's been okay i feel like the aug is the way to go if you really want to get people in boxes especially the rapid fire smg that's not what this gun's for but people are saying that because of the recoil for this you can't shoot people long ranges yes you can Believe it or not, the tap fire for this gun is actually okay. It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's okay. You can shoot people to long range from this. I feel like aim assist would also help a lot because I do play in a control. I feel like aim assist really, really does help for pe opponents down to medium range there. Sorry, not sorry, but that's just the reality of the situation here. Aim assist does help, especially with the combat assault rifle, learning how to control the recoil. But honestly, just load up in creative. Take some time on some targets. Take some time on some of the new NPC devices. Just fire away. Just You'll get used to the recoil. People are so resistant to learn in Fortnite. That's something that I really don't like about this community. They don't like the new change. They don't like, oh my god, new mechanic, new gun. Don't like it. No thank you. I'll stick with my scar. Like, no. Just take a little bit of time and learn how to recoil, control the recoil. The gun doesn't suck. You suck. <laughs> Honestly, though, you guys just... Most people that play this game, they go, I want my scar, and then they pick up nothing else. Pump scar. Why does Epic even make new guns in this loophole? I don't understand. Like, people pick it up and go, this gun sucks. People will at least try it. We'll try it for two seconds. As soon as they get one pump, they rage and they're like, never using that a gun again. No, thank you. Not for me. But I'm like, dude, just try to play with it. Just like go into it with an open mind. Just use the gun. Test it out. You're not going to be a god with it the first time you use it. Just play around with it. You might end up liking it. That's the most important part with this gun. The biggest takeaway for this video, this gun is good. You just have to learn how to control the recoil. I'm already, like, good at return controlling the recoil. I don't know what gameplay I'm showing you. I don't know if it's going to be new gameplay or old gameplay, but I have learned to control the recoil, and it, it, it's not that hard. It really isn't. You just have to put a little bit of time to it. And then for the people who don't play Fortnite or play Fortnite casually, they're quick to say, well, I don't have time to sit all day and play in creative mode and just build to the sky and learn how to use this gun. Where, like, no, it doesn't take that long. Sit there for 20 minutes. This whole thing about people like to, to learn the Fortnite guns, to learn how to build, this whole situation is so insanely ridiculous. They're like, well, I don't have time. I don't have time to sit there. I don't have, I can't spend eight plus hours a day sitting creative. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. Just use the gun for a little bit. Use the gun for like two matches and try to use it. That's all you have to do. This gun's good. This gun can change your opinion. This gun, if you can learn how to use this gun, you can learn how to use any other gun in Fortnite because I can promise you, this gun is not bad. Try the combat assault rifle, use it, and actually put your mind to it. You might change a little bit. Change your attitude with the gun, if that's one of you. Hopefully this video helped you.